Today we're going to talk about single best exercise for weak or painful knees or hips. This is especially true after a joint replacement. The thing about this exercise, you can do it in bed and seated. What we're talking about is actually, this is a whole topic about these prehab, post-hab, uh, hip and knee replacements that we've been thinking about. How are we going to make it better? This is 10 years ago already. Right. So we decided that we're going to make something to make it better. That's so we right. So we did. We actually invented uh, this product as well as the knee glide. Right. This is called the Fit Glide, and it works absolutely wonderful. You're going to find out why. If we say why. so for ourselves. Yeah, well, that's why we made it, Bob. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, uh, we're therapists, and so we know what is needed. It provides active range of motion or active assistive range of motion right. in some of these right. cases. So um, it's not just for after surgery. If you just got an injury or a really painful joint in your knee or your hip, arthritis. we're going to start with the hip. Okay, let's go sure. through some exercises for the hip. Now, oftentimes, if you got a painful hip, either it's hard to walk on it, weight brain's painful, and it's so weak that you can't do that anyway. So we need to work on in the bed. Right, exercises without a lot of weight bearing on the hip. Right. Because when you're... If if your hip is hurting, like to try to do squats, something like oh, that, yeah, it's just it, not going to work. It just flares it up. It, it makes flares it, it worse. Up, right. After a surgery, these can be done in the hospital bed after surgery, right. literally. So here's the device, okay, and you can see the there's two foot pedals, but you can use it in bed very nicely. We're going to show you another option once well, we right get to here the too, seated. You can see that this thing weighs hardly anything. Right. It's I could do very curls light. with my fingers. Right. So that's the big advantage of this is if you're elderly and you have to bring this device to your bed or then later on bring it to your couch or whatever, right. you can easily do so. Yeah, and it cleans very nicely. Yeah. Uh, all right, so if you're in bed, like we just talked about, uh, we're going to talk about that hip range of motion like this. Hip flexion. Hip flexion. And you try doing this, and particularly as a therapist, you assist someone it's hard on your back, yeah. and it's hard for the patient because things are getting... If I'm doing this side... They're getting... Yeah. 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 Or and the, usually the bed is lower. Yeah. Like some this. They don't always rise up, yeah, et cetera. Right. So what you do is you simply put the, the knee or the fit glide there, put the heel on there. Now, there might be... You're probably not going to be wearing shoes. So get a towel, Bob. Oh, uh, sure. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, make this a little more realistic. Yeah. You simply put a towel on that makes it comfortable, and I'm going to pull it up. Now, if, if you're so weak that you need assistance, which is very common right after surgery, the therapist can easily help right. assist. I can, I can just go like this and give yep. a little assistance. Right. Or you can take a towel or a gate belt, and then the patient can be under control. Yep. Put here and assist as much as you need. Now, sometimes you don't even care about strength, and we just want to get that range going. Right. And then we can do well, this. Well, to me, Brad, this is like, let's say the therapist isn't going to be there all day long. Right. So throughout the day, like every hour, you can do a bunch of these. Exactly. Whether it be a knee replacement or a hip replacement. Now, if you just got general weakness and you got both sides weak, you simply do both legs at the same time. And that's... I'll always uh, right. you know, or you can work this yep. to get those muscles working in a walking or marching motion, which can be very helpful as well. All right, I'm gonna move it up a little bit, Brad. Now show running. Running? Yeah, come on, run. Oh, a little faster. Yeah, wow, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. And the, the the resistance is very little on there. The smooth it'll last forever. Yep. We've been putting out the, the knee glide, which is very similar. Right. Uh, We've been selling the knee glide for what a, a Five, Thou five, six years? Yeah, three, four to five, I think. Yeah. Thousands of them. Yeah, we've sold thousands. Yeah. Very well received. We've got them down pat. Yeah. Okay, so what about abduction, Bob? Sure. We've got to work Going out, to the, out side. to the side. Very critical motion, particularly uh, with either after surgery or just with general weakness and pain. So what are you going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brad. Well, no, go ahead, Bob. We need to, we're going to use it this way, and it works really nice to put a pillow on there. And, and I put can, it over both uh, foot pedals. Yep. And now I'm simply going to go side to side. So I'm working my hip abductors, hip adductors, uh, both very critical for walking. So we want to get those muscles uh, back in the sink as soon as possible. He's and keeping strengthen. his toe straight up. Yep. Yeah. He's, I'm not, he's gonna, not going like that. Which is a good point, Bob, because right. a lot of times 
that leg will be flaccid for right. the extra internal rotator. So you're going to work on that. It's a really good point. There you go. And, you know, again, 10 to 20 reps, you're sure. going to be tired. If uh, you uh, have trouble with that to start, you can have uh, your spouse or a uh, you know, family member help you right. go ahead and do a few of these. It's really you know, easy it, to do. If you're in the hospital, the therapist or an aide will, will be happy to yeah. help you out. You know, you could use your, if your other leg is strong, you, you could give a little assistance there. I think you, couldn't you, what if, what if you put both on, on the pillow at the same time? Oh, Would that sure. work or not? Yep. A little bit strange. And actually, you're getting some core strength. <laughs> you like a fish. Yeah. But my abdominal muscles kicked in just like there that. There we go. That's cool. We just came up with a new yeah, abdominal strengthening. All right. So, so if, you, if you're a knee patient. Okay, sure. after our surgery of a knee, again, this is really uh, applicable right in, the, right in the bed where after surgery in the hospital. Put a towel down again, yep. Brad. Put a towel on there. Yeah, and you know, they used to have those machines that did it for you. CPM. And they found out they were not as effective as they thought they would be. And they, thought, they found out active motion was better. Right. And yep. so this is, here you are after knee replacement. Yep, you can... You can use a towel to help you with right. assistance. Start getting motion, 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 motion. Exactly right, Bob. And those CPM machines are very expensive. Yes, they are. You know, well yeah. over a thousand. I don't know what right. they are. They used to rent them. Right, they rent right. Them and they're bulky. They're hard to yeah. work with. They're just, yeah. as a therapist, you gotta have a plug I, in. I didn't like putting people in them very much because it's difficult. And then you have to adjust them so yeah. that the knee yeah. fit right where Different legs. the joint yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. And now the other thing, you know, if it is a knee, you can use your other leg to assist like this, which is helpful to get that range of motion. And you can flex the knee and extend as well and, and work on that extension. Those quadriceps yeah. are kicking in now. Uh, this really does everything. We're, we're pretty proud about this device. I think we are. Well, we spent about four years working yeah, on it. Yeah, we did. We spent, if you knew the troubles that we went through to try to get yeah. this. Yeah, it looks like something to, simple, but we found right. out. That it was more difficult than, uh, yeah. but it was fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, Bob. Oh, the next thing, hip replacements. Do not do this exercise. Sure. This is a, a supine or a, a, a seated. in bed yeah. exercise. Yeah. But if you have a hip that just has arthritis or another injury where there's no limitations on flexion, but a, again, hip replacement, you're not going to do right. this. You could do it with a knee replacement. Right. Yeah. Oh, with a knee replacement, sure. The, there is one kind of hip replacement you could possibly do this to, but, uh, anterior uh, approach, yeah, but, but yeah. you've got to talk to your surgeon. I'm just going to, we're just going to say, say across the board, hip surgeries, hip replacement, do big, not do this one. Yep. Yeah. But because so, we're getting a lot of flexion in the hip right now in the seated, this is a lot different than this when it comes to the hip joint. Right. Not, not the knee, but the hip. So this could be a good exercise for you if you're not a hip replacement or a hip surgery yeah, of any kind. you're trying to gain some flexion in your hip, especially with arthritis, yep. which a lot of people do yep. need. Exactly. It can work well for that. This could be one, you know, if you're walking around a little bit and you're more mobile, it's something other than a surgery, you, know, you could sit against on the floor, sure. put it down, lean up against the Sit chair, against the wall or... yep, and work with it that way. Sure. Okay. All right. What else we got, Brad? Uh, let's see. I don't want to miss anything. I think we're going to seated, aren't we? Well, you were going to show, um, yeah, everything was seated now, yep. I think. Now, now we're going to go to uh, seated. Yeah. <laughs> like I just said. Well, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Bob? <laughs> Why? I'm having a rough day. All right. This is where we can show off the handle. Yeah, I mean, but you want to first show it without it. Right. Now, the beauty of this is you can, we do make the knee glide just has one of these as opposed to both. Uh, but then you can't work both legs. But that right. may be an option for you, too. And that's what a lot of knee surgeries we've had over the years. They just work the one and right. one leg. Right. Um, so. But the other knee is probably not far behind right <laughs> it's good to exercise and probably that keep one. that healthy too right. at the so same time that's that's strictly up to you yeah. uh so we're going to work range of motion here and actually this way it is nicer to do it with a shoe on now um, i want to sit make the point too this is not silent there is some swish swish going back and forth i know brad doesn't think this is a big deal but i just want to make sure people know that 
if, you know, they get it and they, they go, oh, I'm going to watch TV with it. You can, obviously, but there is a little bit of swish sound. Well, it's a lot quieter than a, a treadmill. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot quieter than a lot of stationary bikes. Actually, sure. uh, I had one patient, he used his, he had a knee replacement, used it at work under the desk. Sure. Um, and it was... Uh, it was noise. It was enough noise because it's very quiet in there that uh, he didn't like that noise. So what he did is he just took some silicone, silicone right? put it on the rails, and it quiets it down just yeah, like it that. It really slides in, and then it so, slides very yeah, easy. We re highly recommend if you want to really make it quiet, yeah, put some silicone. You just on go it. to the local hardware store, and you just need a couple drops, literally. So, anyways, uh, we can do the seated. Like this, you can use both legs, and this works nice. You can work them together if you like. A lot of times, I'll have my patients go this way. Now, here's the beauty of this right. device where it separates it from putting a towel on the floor, right. which a lot of people say, why can't I do that? And you can, but this goes at an angle, and this can make a tremendous difference. Well, it's a lot more comfortable on the ankles, I'll tell you. Yeah. Right? It just It's a better angle to yeah. go at this. I've had people that literally... Couldn't do it flat, but yep. could do it this way. Right. And if you're not a surge, you just have weakness. This works. The quadriceps emphasizes them more than the hamstrings. For the, If you want to get more flexion, you're going downhill, which doesn't seem like much, but it can make a big difference when you're very weak or have some pain right. in that knee. Um, if you do want to emphasize hamstring strength, you simply turn this around like this. And this is one of those things that even if you've got a healthy leg after you do it for a yeah, minute yeah. or two, boy, it's surprising, you, is it? Yeah, the hammies really start kicking in, yeah. and it's really a good idea for that. I'm always one of those things that you watch and go, ah, oh, that's not the big a deal. And then you put it on and go, wow, that and really how, does make a difference. How long do you do it? People will ask. You're going to do it until you feel fatigued or you had enough. Typically, it's one to five minutes. Early on, one minute may be enough as you get better up to five. And you could go longer if you well, want. At some point, you can go 20 minutes if you want to make it, it a full workout. As a matter of fact, there are people uh, that are going to want this for under their workstation. Right. When you get better or uh, you just have some weakness. I've had some people that they have swelling throughout the day while they're sitting at work because they don't have any motion with their legs. This takes care of that problem. Well, you've seen all the articles that were out there. In fact, we we did some videos on that. This sitting is the new smoking. Yep. And um, this is one way to combat that. You know, just every so often, you it's easy for you to work it. It's not yep. walk, like walking on a treadmill. Exactly. Which they have on treadmill desks. This you can just work the leg and you can still get things done. I, what's your pin number, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> and again, while it's under there, uh, you can uh, put it up on an incline or switch it around so you work the hamstrings or the quadriceps. And again, it's so easy just to get it out of the way if you don't want it there. It's very light. You hang it on the wall, put it in the closet. Uh, you know, just... That, well, I think we we said enough. Yeah, we, we hammered this thing until uh, All right. the cows won't Thanks come home anymore. Be careful.